and state officials have unveiled a new sign to designate the town of Brookville as part of the Star Spangled Banner National Historic Trail. Congressman John Sarbanes, State Senator Karen Montgomery, State Delegate Craig Zucker, National Park Service officials, and others, some in period costumes, took part in the celebration at the Brookville Academy at 5 High Street. I'm extremely excited that the signage is now going in place and that this will be a critical portion of the Star Spangled Banner National Historic Trail. We're hoping that this interpretive sign, as well as the others that belong to the family, will continue to inform and inspire and to make connections for people for years to come. Yes, I approached the National Park Service about adding Brookville to the Star Spangled Banner National Historic Trail because it's all of the sites in the Chesapeake area that really where anything important happened during the War of 1812. And they agreed, yes, this, this was an, an important event. It's very different from all the other events where, you know, the British Army would raid a town and burn the um, buildings or there was a battle, you know. But this was a place which was very different, but it was intimately connected with what was going on in Washington um, at the time. And this is the place when, after the burning of Washington, the Army instructed the soldiers to get to Baltimore any way they could. And they went in small groups. Um, they came through Brookville and Brookvillers took care of them. So, you know, it's another connection. The small town of Brookville is now gearing up for its U.S. Capitol for a Day celebration, which will take place on Labor Day weekend. This historic event will feature reenactments, music, tours, and barbecue. You can find out much more about the event online at uscapitalforaday.org. For MyMC Media, I'm Sonia Burke.